You've probably heard the saying, it takes a village to raise a child. Well, this African proverb emphasizes the role of communities in shaping youth outcomes. And my dissertation is centered on this proverb and that I seek to examine the impact of community level risk and protective factors and educational enrollment for youth aging out of the foster care system in the state of Florida. Now, this is an important population of focus as each year, approximately 20,000 young people age out of the United States foster care system. So this means that they turn 18 without a permanent place to live and limited supports. So just think back to when you were 18. Need I say any more? So understandably, this group experiences a variety of negative outcomes, particularly in the area of education that travels over into employment, housing, and incarceration. And in fact, it's estimated to cost taxpayers approximately $300,000 for each young person to provide supportive resources as they transition into adulthood. And furthermore, federal and state governments allocate more than $150 million a year to find ways to improve outcomes for this group. And so if we can improve outcomes, then perhaps we can reduce the social and economic consequences associated. So my dissertation utilizes the social development framework, which is an evidence-based framework that predicts a variety of youth behaviors by identifying risk factors within individuals, families, schools, and communities. And while there are numerous studies that have examined the impact of interpersonal and individual characteristics, fewer studies really examine the impact of context and communities. And this is particularly important in Florida, where there is a community-based approach to care. And so my study will utilize an interdisciplinary data set and examine the impact of community-level risk factors, such as county-level rates of poverty and unemployment, as well as neighborhood disorganization, such as county-level rates of crime and residential mobility, as well as protective factors. So the amount of opportunities that a young person has to engage in extracurricular activities, as well as the rewards associated with this by developing attachments with supportive adults and peers. And so findings from my study can help inform policymakers and child welfare administrators, but more important, it can help everyday people like you and I strengthen our village to make better outcomes for the next generation. Thank you. Thank you.